Hey, yo, the name of this video topic is why now is the best time for you to become a successful MC. Once again, that is why now is the best time for you to become the most successful and prominent MC that you could ever be. You know what I'm saying? It's like the spirit of Giku and Goku is like in the earth realm, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of power, you know what I'm saying? A lot of influence is very, very structured in the atmosphere right now for hip hop in general. And we're going to dig really deep into the science of this, you know what I'm saying? But this is how we're going to break it down. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use astrology. But before we do that, let me uh, just introduce myself briefly. My name is Sherrod Peaceful. I am the uh, music producer uh, behind the, um, you know, the beats on the page, the neck brace ensemble. You know what I'm saying? I'm also an MC and I'm also um, an astrologer. I'm also uh, a historian and a lecturer too as well. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave my information down below here in the description box. But yo, we're going to build astrologically on why now is the best time for you to turn into like a super saiyan on the, on the mic, you know what I'm saying? As a microcosmic controller, you know what I'm saying? That's really the acronym for MC, the microcosmic controller, you know what I'm saying? Word up. So, yo, dig it. All right. So, in 1988, we had the most influential and significant year in hip-hop history, you know what I'm saying? In 1988, we had so many dope albums that came out. We had albums from Eric B. and Rakim. We had, um, you know what I'm saying, Two Live Crew. You know, you had, I think you had Kid and Play, man. You had, uh, in 1980, who else in 19? You had the Ghetto Boys and Scarface. You know what I'm saying? You had uh, Boogie Down Productions, man. You had the dopest dopest albums that ever ever came out in history right here in 1980 oh, oh can't forget nwa2 came out then too you know what i'm saying with with uh easy e and them boys Whew, man i'm telling you so listen in 1988 the planet saturn the planet saturn was positioned inside the constellation of capricorn and it arrived there in February of 1988. You know what I'm saying? So it's getting ready to uh, it's getting ready to mirror that same cycle within the next about four months. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, right now, um, as Saturn is in Capricorn, Capricorn is actually the stationary uh, home place for the planet Saturn. The uh, Capricorn energy is represented as the structural emphasis of the universe. That's how important the hip hop energy is because it was actually structured. You know what I'm saying? In 1988, you had so many different type of flavors yet, but the music was so influential and impactful. You know what I'm saying? And it revolutionized the way you know what I'm saying, uh, the melanated man, you know what I'm saying, understands himself, you know what I'm saying, word. So uh, right now, it, it, it has returned back, you know what I'm saying, with, I think it's been about 39 years, if I'm not mistaken, the last time it left. Um, but now it's getting ready to transition into Aquarius, which is the positive polarity for the planet Saturn. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the next 12 months is very important because it's a transition. Just like um, how we transitioned in uh, February 1988, it, it came inside the season of Aquarius. 
You know what I'm saying? So now it's approaching that season in Aquarius, and then it's going to exit in December during the Capricorn season. You see how the, the duality of the universe exists within itself, and it mirrors and it reflects itself. Because it entered in, like I said, in February of 1988, right? And then it exited in December. So now it's a time where it's, it's approaching December of 2019. And it's getting ready to go back to that same pattern of being uh, in the positive polarity of Aquarius. So it's like the positive and the negative energies of, of, of Saturn are going to be so compound. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to cause such a grand a grand sense of rhythm and you know what i'm saying and that's what we're going to go ahead and build on right now is rhythm because that's what the planet uh saturn represents in in, in the sense of capricorn you capricorn is very rhythmatic and it's very melodic you know what i'm saying you got the best r&b singers of all time were capricorn such as Mary J. Blige, such as uh, R. Kelly, such as Aaliyah, such as Ray J, you know, and such as Tyrese, such as Sade. So it just keeps going and going. If you do the research, some of the dopest, oh, and Marie's a Capricorn too as well. So if you go into it, you see uh, uh, the melody is there, okay? And then it's also rhythmatic, okay? Because uh, our brother James Brown is also a Capricorn, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, within his music, it, 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 it existed where uh, everything became a drum, you know what I'm saying? And the drum represents the vibration. You remember in the movie, he was like, he pointed at the horn and, and asked the two, two, the two dude, yo, what is that? Because he wanted to tell him it's a drum, not a horn. Because everything is used, supposed to be used as rhythm. And see, he imperialized that within the, you know what I'm saying, within the substance of his music. So that's why the electricity and the rhythm was so was so strong because of that Capricorn energy, y'all, because of that Capricorn energy. And right now, it is at its peak right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you have brothers such as Black Thought having over 10 million views on Funk Flex. You're doing the Saturn and Capricorn. You seeing, you know what I'm saying, the Royce the 5-9 destroyed. You seen uh, Loaded Lux, you know what I'm saying, came up there, did his thing. You know what I'm saying? You had uh, one of the best verses of all time from Nas on that Echo Joint, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the Echo Joint on that, uh, you know what I'm saying, on that Swiss Joint, man. We can just go on and on and on. So, like, I know we think that a lot of, you know what I'm saying, rappers that are influenced by the Pluto and Sagittarius energy, which is very, 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 uh, which is very, very uh, rebellious, you know what I'm saying, and very, very systematic and very, very lucky, you know what I'm saying, and very, very um, vindictive, but at the same time, they have the vision and they are the ones that's actually changing the course of hip hop right now, you know what I'm saying, but within the Sagittarius energy also comes, you know what I'm saying, the mutable energy that submits to its teacher and that submits to facts. So what what is a fact right now is that is if every MC on this earth began to concentrate on his craft and master his swords, you know what I'm saying, and use the art to to, to fight against the devils that have uh, infiltrated the music and taken over the music. If each individual MC, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, resurrected his craft, you know what I'm saying, and you know what I'm saying, and sharpen his pen and still flow, then we'll have such a, 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 a strong influence during this time right now. And this time is not going to come back to another 40 years. As the number 40 we know represents Tess. The children of Israel were held captive, you know what I'm saying, with the own, the own confinements of their mind where they created material objects that represented God, but they didn't know that they was God. You know what I'm saying? They didn't understand that they were the uh, original people that came from out of the earth 
for him, yo. You know what I'm saying? So once we understand to get back to the basic instructions before leaving Earth, you know what I'm saying? Before going through the case of of of, of Cancer with Capricorn, you know what I'm saying? To reincarnate and, and take off, you know what I'm saying? Corruption, you know what I'm saying? To put on incorruption, you know what I'm saying? But during that time, we still can rule as kings as we were supposed to and was instructed to by Allah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, man, this your man should ride peaceful, man. I just wanted to come build with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Get let y'all, you know what I'm saying, feel my energy, yo. And listen, we got Mikhail's alchemy is coming real soon. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's gonna bless your life and reconstruct your whole DNA, yo. And that's on the heart, that's on everything, yo. So yo, make sure y'all stay tuned. Subscribe to the God Cinema 9 when we're building on history, where we're building on esoterics, and what we're building on pragmatic emphasis, you know what I'm saying? You know, which is like the three levels of understanding when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, the supreme mathematics. But yo, once again, man, this is your man Survive Peaceful Man. Got a lot of dope stuff coming. You know what I'm saying? Real soon. One love. We out.